What's going down, guys? Okay, I'm going to do a little unboxing of, you guessed it, Avengers Iron Man. Uh, I'm not crazy over Iron Man, but this one I know uh, I liked. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. So if anything, this video is going to be uh, an unboxing and a, um, what, do you, what do you call it, an inspection. And let's check it out. Yeah, it's going to have to blow me away. Color, color wise, uh, you know, people have gone here and there as far as what they thought the actual color would be. Let me make sure I'm coming out there. So that's the box. I think the last one, besides Marty, that I had a chance to open was the Mark 43. Okay, side. As you can see, all the care in the world. Here's the, whoa, whoa, that could have been accidental. Uh, I have actually, as you can tell, I haven't seen uh, too many um, unboxings. I didn't know this was a sleeve, but I dig the, the matte look. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's the box. In beautiful shape. There's a couple little tabs right there. Let's flip open. I think that was uh, Ace Ventura. Gently put that back. Now I'm zipping through this because I want to see it. I've got some stuff to do. Probably go into detail when I come back. Mm, I love that smell. Okay. Now, box, I mean, I'm not too crazy about. Durr. I can tell you guys already, I think it's a keeper. Wow. Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to do a quick flip. But it's pretty cool. Anyways, my lighting kind of sucks right now, just noticing that. I'm going to finish off my errands, and then uh, I'll do a little follow-up video on the same video, so I don't have multiple videos. But, um, yeah, I'm keeping it. Faux show. Got them full flapped out. Now I do have the um, the light on the camera because it tends to make all the little uh, face plate and the little goldish hues come out. Got the ankle um, or the calf flaps out. These little top ones right here. But I really, really like the figure. I really, really like it a lot. What I don't like though, however, is these. The only other Iron Man I had was the Mark 43 die cast. And it was just way, way more flexible on the legs. This one, when I get too high of a bend, um, even though this is really soft plastic, I don't want to push it too much. And there's that see-through chest plate. If I can, I'm just gonna take my time, uh, different angles because this guy, I mean, even though I don't think it looks that bad in the video, it's night and day in, in your hand. Now, I'm gonna. I don't think I could do it right now. No, I can't. I'm going to try videoing it um, a little bit without the, the light. See how it looks. Okay, so this is the um, this is without my camera flash and just using the light, um, the LED light on its clearest form. Again, just a really 
really cool menacing looking dude I tried to do a couple more poses but damn that dude looks bad I just have a picture right now too because I can What's going on guys? So I'm gonna finish up my video. It's been like, uh, I think about a week since I've had the guy and I did the little video, but just been kind of busy. But before I, uh, before I close it out, uh, there's been a couple of things that I've mentioned in a couple of the forums. One is the faceplate. I don't particularly have a problem with my faceplate. I heard that it's, it's easy and it's, you know, that it just comes off easily. I mean, it's not the tightest fit, but you know, I got a couple of people, which I don't know if you guys are putting that little tab in. Because I know before I would just kind of place it like this and, you know, it wouldn't really fit. But anyways, that's um, the one little issue. And then the other one, which I thought was just me and I wasn't even going to bring it up, is this base. I couldn't get this to go in. Let's pull it out. Because uh, it just seemed like it wouldn't catch. Luckily on one of my forums, and I'll, uh, I'll remember what his name is. I'll look it up and I'll post it on here who actually uh, recommended the idea. Cause I know I've seen Budget Starks, um... come on. Focus, focus, my hand needs to I can't focus, what the fuck? Anyway guys, uh, so basically I, I can't find my hobby knife, but if you take a knife and just kind of run down, run down, run down, you'll be able to peel. Okay, right now. What a cocksucker, I can't fucking do that. Hold on. All right, I think I got it figured out. Did I? Did I? Okie dokie, let's try this again. Okay, so uh, if you get your hobby knife, again, um, this is what I have right now. Point down, go right against the thread, circle around, circle around, circle around, obviously it's not gonna be sharp. Circle around till you get a good, you know, millimeter, centimeter, whatever you wanna call it. Um, come on. And then just kind of peel the rest of it around and then what I did is I just, come on, I just pushed down with my nail, down, down, down. You could probably even do that without having to cut it, but I had already started. So once you pull it down, you're able to catch it. Um, put it right there. And then, um, and then bam. Yeah, because initially, if you, if you remember the video, well you should, but the video that I recorded earlier, or like last week, the one I just showing, this is just actually just, it's actually, I just have it like that. And I was just, like an idiot, was willing to live with it like that, just because uh, I didn't want to have to send something in. Um, but like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't until someone in the forum suggested that. And, and then again, Budget Stark, I think recommended cutting this, but then you're just jacking up. As you could tell, th that initially was uh, when I was first trying to like really push down and, and get it in there wasn't working but anyways i think i'm gonna keep it so it's not going to be uh, an issue of resale value anyways guys hope that helps and miss